Hello everyone, welcome to Vicar David's 60 second slot. Amidst all the different changes of formats of entertainment through VHS video to DVD to streaming and Sky, there's always been one way in which we are entertained and that's by story, by the power of narrative. I always have a book, a novel on the go. This is the one I'm reading at the moment. I can't recommend it highly enough or its author. And we all enjoy binging on box sets this is one that's in our house, whether on DVD or um, streaming them. We all enjoy the power of the story, the story that they're telling. In 2017, it seems that over 8 million people watched uh, the series uh, Line of Duty. Uh, that's 8 million people every episode. And £4 billion pounds worth of books, of novels, of stories were sold. So the, the power of story is still very much central more than it's ever been maybe uh, it said it, this is the, the golden age of tv drama the roman poet horace said that substitute our names for any story we find and we enter into it the church teaches it's actually not through the creeds or rules uh, that we encounter god that we come to meet God, it's actually in the stories, the stories about Jesus, the stories in the Bible, that as we explore those stories, we find out more about God. The creeds themselves are actually stories, the story of how God uh, and, uh, comes into the world and uh, does a new thing in the world that we're invited to join in. So why are stories so powerful? Well, it comes down to the, the idea that stories are really the way in which words are made flesh. The mundane is transcended. Mud leads to the manger, dust to the stars, the beginning to the end, and in them, that's where we meet God. Thank you for watching and God bless.